trickle of people into our city is already underway, but it's going to grow into a flood by the time the weekend is over. And all of those people got to eat, they got a drink, and our restaurants and bars are really looking to cash in. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is in Over the Rhine tonight with how they are preparing for the crush. Hi, Anjanette. Hi, Cammie. We're here at Japs on Main Street and over the Rhine. As you can see, it's a really good crowd for a Thursday night. And this weekend, they're expecting even bigger crowds. That's why Japs is going to open on Sunday when this bar is usually closed. It's all part of that effort to cash in on this big all-star weekend. You like a lot of sprinkle on your pasta, don't you? It's a busy weeknight at Main Bite in Covington. And this weekend will be even busier. The restaurant will open Monday when it's usually closed. With everything that's happening, for us to close the body would be kind of silly because so many people are coming in town and we want to show our best for the tri -state. At DeFelice, the staff is working extra shifts. My wife owns the restaurant, Shelly DeFelice Nelson, and she's actually been stopping at the hotels and getting ready for everything that way and uh, putting the word out that Covington's just a great place to, to be as, as far as the banks and everything else is, too. Across the river at Taste of Belgium, waffle makers will have their irons on full time until the end of the game. And Sunday and Monday, the restaurant is open until 10. All of the restaurants have had to ramp up. Sean McCabe of the Downtown Restaurant Association says restaurants have been hiring extra staff for months and finding the right people hasn't been easy. So they've been going to Craigslist and the newspapers and telling everyone they know that now's the time to jump into the restaurant scene because we're going to be so busy. So no matter where you go this weekend, expect a crowd and for each restaurant to put on its very best. This is a local event that's actually a national event. So when you put those two together, if you're not participating, you know, it's just not there. And the band here, the Grace Lincoln Band, is actually getting ready to take the stage. They took a little break, and they're getting ready to play again. They won't be having live music here on Sunday, but both bars will be open with plenty of beer and booze. They've ordered plenty, just like a lot of the other restaurants and bars in the area. Cammie? All right, Anjanette Levy, thank you.